Hello everyone and welcome to my craft room at stampinginthevalley.com. My name is Joanne and I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! and this is just my second video. So today what we're going to be doing is using our Mellow Mambo embossing powder, the Versamark ink pad, an embossing buddy, and the heart from the Hearts of Flutter uh, stamping uh, stamp set selection the hearts of flutter. So to get started today, let's move everything out of the way. This is some smoky slate cardstock and first what we're going to do is use our embossing buddy. Now what this does is take away any static off of your cardstock so that you don't get smudges where your fingerprints are, where your fingers touch the card and you don't get any smudges with your embossing powder. So you'll take your embossing buddy and just rub very lightly where you're going to make your mark. Make your, we're going to make a heart today. Okay? Then we're going to take our Versamark ink, and this is kind of clear, although it will leave an image on this cardstock, and again it's smoky slate, but the Versamark is also very sticky and thick. So we're going to go ahead and open that up and bring in our heart from the Hearts of Flutter collection and we're going to ink up our heart. And as you press this down you're going to feel the stickiness of the Versamark. This also stays wet for a while so that then you, we will uh, put some embossing powder on this. So I'm inking it up and we're on a clear block D and we'll go ahead and press it down, make our image, and raise it up. And I'm sure probably with the camera you can't see it. I can see it from here. Cute little uh, outline of the heart along with all the little, it almost looks like lace that's around it. Now we're going to bring in our Mellow Mambo embossing powder. And I love pinks and greens. And we're just going to scoop it up and roll it onto our heart and tap it off. Always tap off your excess. Now that makes a very cute little pink heart. How cute is that? That's adorable. Little cute pink heart. Now we'll, then we're going to bring in our heat gun and this heat gun is from Stampin' Up! I want to talk just for a second about this and I can because our, this is not going to dry because the Versamark does take a while to dry on its own, but we will dry it with the heat gun. The Stampin' Up! heat gun has two settings, a low, and this is going to make noise, a low, and then the high. To set the embossing powder, we're going to use the high setting, but this is the only heat gun I've ever seen that has had two settings on it, and I love this because the lower setting, sometimes when I get in a hurry, and I'm doing a scrapbook page or I'm making a card, I want the ink to set immediately and I'll use the setting number one. So let's go ahead and turn this on to the setting of number two and this is going to make a little noise and then we're going to heat set and I, I hold this away from the paper and just go in small circular motions to set it. And as you can see, we are getting a very shiny little pink heart. How cute is this? Okay, turning off your heat gun and setting it to the side. It also has this nice rest on it. When you want to store it, you can flip it up, but when you're using it um, and picking it up frequently, I like to use this rest and it's nice and solid. Stampin' Up! products are uh, superior to any crafting pro products that I've ever used. Now we're going to move everything out of the way and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this heart to make it an embellishment for a card or a scrapbook page. So here we have, and I, I hope that you can see the shininess of, of this and how um, precise 
that is. And again, we use the embossing buddy. This way we didn't get any smudges around the paper. Now, we're going to bring in our Big Shot because our Hearts of Flutter collection come with framelits. So we're going to bring in the Big Shot and make our nice little sandwich. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to use a multi-purpose platform. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and move the Big Shot out of the way first thing. And we'll make our sandwich and then we'll bring it into the picture. So we're going to make our sandwich first. We use a multi-purpose platform. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this with the Big Shot. Everything is self-explanatory on what you're going to use. If you're going to use a die, framelits, or you can even cut cardstock and emboss. And uh, this is a superior product, that which does not need any electricity, which is fantastic because the other day I lost the power, had nothing to do. We lost the power through a thunder and lightning storm, had nothing to do, all the lights were out, but it was a very nice pretty day and bright out, but I came in and I just started cutting things on my Big Shot because I didn't need any electricity. Okay, so we're going to use the framelit portion, so you use your multi-purpose platform, then a cutting die, or a cutting, um, a cutting platform, sorry. And we're, then you put your paper, your cardstock, and then you take your framelit and line it up on your heart. Look how cute. And it gives you the cutest little border. And I like to, with this one, kind of line it up with your scallops around the heart. Okay. Going to line it up right there. Then make your sandwich all the way with your the next cutting plate put that on top okay now I'm I'm gonna lift this up and bring in the big shot and what I do is I take my sandwich and I push it through my big shot until my handle just moves slightly this way let me move this this way so I can turn it so I push this through my Big Shot, so my handle moves just slightly, and then I just hold on to the top securely and roll it through. And you might feel a little bump and that's just it cutting. Let's roll it all the way through, okay? Move your Big Shot out of the way, or I will move my Big Shot out of the way, you're probably working on a big table. Okay, and then let's see what we've got. Okay, pops right out, pops right out of the framelit. Let's move that out of the way. And you have got the cutest little heart embellishment for any scrapbook page or card that you can use. Thank you for watching. Please join my mailing list at stampinginthevalley.com and look for more videos. Thanks again.